Can you tell us a little bit about your experience with MTV? You were on here at first, and then uh, you were featured on the Big Ten, and then Discover and Download. I mean, it's pretty much just, I mean, it's awesome. It's pretty much any band's dream to be on MTV. And yeah, I think, kind of I, honestly, <laughs> honestly, I, I still, I don't think it's sunk in with me still, and, and like, that's like kind of like long, long gone, like it's happened, but, but I, I don't know, I just, uh, I mean, if you told me a year ago that that would happen, I would probably, I, I don't know, I'd totally freak out. And, and not know what to do with myself, but like it just kind of happened so slowly and, and gradually. Like you know, oh, you, you're gonna be on the, you know, so you, you go yay. But like I, I, I didn't really understand the magnitude of it. And um, I mean, like everything. Same thing with Conan O'Brien. Like I had no, I, you know, I didn't know how to react. I went, I played it, you know, I was done. But like I still, I don't think I still get what I did. So I don't know. It's really, really exciting for me. But, but yeah, I mean. When you're in the process of doing it, it stops. It's like Christmas, you know. <laughs> you're looking forward to it like so much, and then it comes, and then you, it's done. Yeah. You know, but 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 it's like it was like a huge deal to me. Speaking of MTV, uh, do you plan on seeing yourself working more with them? Maybe like a reality show type thing, oh, following I don't around. Know. Maybe I like don't know. <laughs> one step with a one. new <laughs> album coming out. Pretty well, soon with a new anything? album. Well, we have a. I mean. I, I don't know, first things first, we're definitely, you know, I, I've got to finish up the album and, and uh, you know, we have to film the videos for it, which I'm actually really excited about because the video for the, from the first album was, like, so much fun. It was, like, a totally surreal experience. That was, like, one of the most amazing experiences for me uh, so far. And so I'm really looking forward to that. And um, I don't know. Like, everything is open right now at this point. Like, there, there, there's so much ahead of me, and, uh, and we're really only getting started, and we... You know, I mean, we weren't even gonna like market this album in the first place. We we're just gonna like let it be and like you know go straight for this album, this next album. But you know, we decided to put it out there, and it's just had a, a much bigger uh, impact than I thought it would. And so, um, so we're we're really pleased with it. And and yeah, I'd love to uh, you know I'd love to work with MTV on you know a lot of different projects, and, and we'll, we'll see how it goes. I mean, right now I'm doing like some MTV tours for MTVU, and and. Uh, and that's really fun, and, and they're filming a Six Flags show, so that's going to be really cool, so I don't know. What is the number one advice that you've been given, like, as an, an artist, that you could pass on to unsigned bands out there and unsigned artists that they could live by in hopes of getting noticed? Like, um, That would probably be focus mainly on the fans, because they're the only ones that are going to get you anywhere, like in the first place. I mean, you can send as many press kits as you want. You can, uh, uh, you know, try to get noticed. You can try to get into South by Southwest and do your thing. You can do all this thing, but if you don't have, like, buzz, basically translates to fans. I mean, you know, people talk about buzz like it's like, you know, uh, something a band has or hasn't. But it, but it really comes down to like, you know, do you really have, you know, the people backing you? And and um, uh, you know, you can you, you can make a, a great living making tons of money, getting your music out to tons of people, doing it completely alone without a label. And, uh, uh, you know, you, you don't really need anybody. And, and so, I mean, uh, I, I think, you know, every band out there should really focus on the fans first. E everything else was, will come. But, um, but just, you know, work on getting a recording as soon as possible and, and then work on getting the fans to hear it. This is a little segment I like to call Getting to Know John from Secondhand Serenade. I got a little, not so personal questions, but a little fun question. That's fine. All right, I'm game. So, um, if you could play with any band or person, dead or alive, who would it be and why? But, you know, I, I could say some, like you know, I could say like Simon and Garfunkel. They're alive and they're amazing. I actually got to see their their show like three years ago, I think, um, when they did like their like little reunion tour, and it was brilliant. Uh, but you know, I don't know. I think I think mostly I, I'd like to see myself you know get together with a band like Jimmy Eat World or something. I, I I've been a huge fan. And like, and they've evolved through time, and and you know, they they just you know paid their dues, and they've been brilliant, album after album. So, uh, yeah, yeah, probably them. Who are you currently listening to right now? In your iPod, your CD player? Um, a lot of Muse, really, really into into Muse, and uh, Thrice uh, is definitely one of my faves, favorites. And what else? Muse, so good. <laughs> Probably one of the most most epic bands that I've. I have uh, to agree. One of the most epic bands that I've ever heard. I mean, they they can make the most intense like moment without like like you know slamming their guitars, just making it like I, I don't know. They they just like have this amazing sense of uh, uh, 
you know, um, I don't know. I don't know. They just, they, they're amazing. Very, very good. Um, best in concert too. Best band in concert ever. So good. Well, I'll have to check I, them out. I saw them at Bamboozle and they put on. They like, they destroyed it. They're so good. All right. Perfect. Well, here's a couple questions from some fans. We got one from Jason from Orange County, and he wants to know what's the first CD you ever bought. The first CD I ever bought. Well, uh, does it have to be CD? I have a, I, I bought tapes in my day. Tape, whichever. My first tape was Bon Jovi "Slippery When Wet," and the <laughs> and the irony of that is when I got on this tour, I went. We stopped at a uh, um, what's it called? Uh, like a Walmart. We stopped at a Walmart to pick up a few things, and like towards the very beginning of this tour, and I bought Bon Jovi "Slippery When Wet" on CD so we could listen to it this whole tour. <laughs> and it's like, oh my God, still one of the best CDs ever. On my last tour, we actually closed it out. I was touring with this band, Power Space. It's actually on this tour. And also this band Monty R.I. Uh, that was brilliant, so good. And um, and the last day of the tour, we closed it out after I uh, played because I was headlining. Um, we closed it out with uh, "Living on a Prayer." That's for fantastic. all three bands, it was like the most amazing moment. I don't, I don't even think we were doing it for the fans. I think we were just doing it for, <laughs> for us. Ourselves. But like, yeah, seriously, that is amazing. Great, great. And, and even still, you know what? I actually really like the new stuff he's doing. I wasn't a huge he fan of the last album, but his his new single is actually really good. Very, very, you know, I don't know. It's re really well written, so good for him. So Tim from New York wants to know, what's one thing you have to have when you're on tour? One thing I have to have when I'm on tour? A phone. <laughs> Why is that? Oh, my God. Are you a do you text a lot? <laughs> do I text a lot? I, do you I, have I one of those phones that has the keyboards on I, there? I do. I have one of these. Let me show you. Is it the blackjack? It's like a shameless plug. Ah. It's a Motorola Q. <laughs> no, it's amazing. It's well, because I wear kind of like slim pants, and so uh, it's so like thin and just it slips right slips in. Slips right in. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> so you know, I mean, I couldn't live without my phone. I mean, I'm getting, you know, I'm constantly getting calls, you know, from my label, and 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 just kind of, ha I have to deal with things daily. You know, I'm having interviews, I'm having things happen, and so you know, I have to check my email on the road, and and um, you know, I. I'm planning on getting one of those wireless cards that you get internet everywhere, but I just haven't yet. And it's just like, it's really easy. So, um, so yeah, it's kind of a lifesaver. Well, Emilio from Virginia would like to know, how do you like touring and do you see yourself doing it for a long time? Uh, how do I like touring? I, I, lo I, I love touring. I really like, like doing it. Um, it's, you know, it's kind of hard, uh, you know, uh, to get used to not, uh, you know, being away from your home and everything, but like, but I think, it's amazing, and I think uh, seeing fans every night, um, and then like you know actually coming out to the shows and having you know like looking forward to the shows. You, I don't know. I just think it's a great thing, and and, um, uh, and I, you know you, you get used to it, and you enjoy like you know some little little things all around the country, like barbecue in Texas, or or you know hot dry weather in Arizona. It's a, or cacti. Ooh, I'm so excited about cactus. Have you taken a picture next to one yet? Uh, no, I haven't, but I, I. You need to. I'm I've sure never we, seen I'm like. I'm sure a, if we find one here. I've never even seen if it's a fake. real one. Are you serious? No, well, I, ju I just did. I've never seen one of the like, the you know the, the, the cactus cactus. You know. Yeah. One last question, um, and it's from me. Um, I want to know if you weren't a musician, where do you where would you see yourself today as career-wise? I'd probably be skating. <laughs> like a pro skater. Hopefully. Figure skater? <laughs> no, no, <laughs> skate, skate, skateboard. Or, no, I did, I did that for a really long time, and and uh, was you know pretty good, good at it for a while, and and uh, you know I, I just kind of picked music over it, but I love doing it, and uh, I'd love to get back into it again. I still do it sometimes. The Power Space kids, uh, uh, the Power Space kids bring, bring bring around a skateboard in their trailer, and so we you know every once in a while we just like jump on it and have fun, but but yeah. Yeah, maybe that. I don't know. I don't know. You never know. Or I'd be in real estate. Who knows? Well, I just want to thank you for taking the time. Um, like I said, I'm Elizabeth with TheDailyCourse.com, your daily source for new music.